Previously on McLeod's Daughters. What's that? Your wages. I can wait till the end of the week. You won't be here. We're overstaffed. You're sacking me because you can't keep it in your pants. Get out. You made the place look good. <laughs> must have cost a fortune. Is the bill going to scare me a bit? No, I picked him up last night from a bloke who owes me. Hmm. Flawed loan. Wonder how we missed that. Dead a while. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. It must be the orphan. <laughs> Tough little bugger. Last without his mum for a couple of days. Potty lamb worth the trouble? It's all money. Yeah. But a hand feeding's good for the soul. Yeah? Guess they've got the good sense to be cute. thing used to be over there in Red's day. Oh, it's back home then. <laughs> hey, look at this. Mum bought this in Bali. Jody, I was with her. <laughs> what are these? Ah, they're Mum's tarot cards. Yep, she was in at those for a while. It's funny seeing all the stuff around the place again. This is so gross. <laughs> it's taffy. I can't believe she had it stuffed. Yep, Mum was funny about that cat. She had to have him around, even after he died. I remember Taffy. Always sleeping around the place. Always making my life a misery. That animal knew that I was a little... <laughs> well, bless you. No way, Tess. That cat goes. Hey, Tess. Mm -hmm. What's this? Oh, that's our Mum. It's no big deal, guys. Just ashes. Where shall I put her? Oh, mantelpiece. Uh, actually, maybe the study then. She can commune with Jack. Maybe we should get some work done. 
great gadget. Little merry-go-round for lambs, is it? Becky puts them in the cradle. Then round to Meg for vaccination. Then round to me for docking. How cruel is that? It's more cruel to leave the towers on. There's a fly-blown corpse out there, I can show you. Yeah, I know, maggots and stuff. It's still mutilation. You know, English lambs get to keep their tails. They don't have 20 billion blowies keeping them company. Jack's gonna give us a hand. That's a story. Bag's doing the castration. I'm in the mood. <laughs> um, you know, the septic tank's still blocked. I think I might climb up there and get that fixed up this afternoon. Okay, I'll see you later. You have all the fun. We'll manage. Can we all stop rummaging through junk and concentrate on dinner now? What about this lettuce centrifuge? You get very dry, very crisp lettuce. Thank you, but no thanks. Is this box to keep or go to the op shop? Ah, uh, yep, op shop. This one? Yep. Oh, Becky, full-length mirror. It's yours if you want it. Ah, that's good. Oh, come on, Jodie, to your space. The Empress. Does that mean anything to you, Tess? Um, I'm not sure, though. Our mum's only the owner's supposed to touch them. Oh. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Mum's gone, cards chose you. That's the way they work. Oh, thanks. You know, we could take all this junk into town tomorrow because I've still got to get some vaccines for the lambs. Well, if you want, we can chop it all up with an axe right now. No, no, tomorrow's fine. And I assume that cat is in the first box out of here? Meg, waffle maker, I reckon you'd be really good at making waffles. You're not eating with us, Becky? No, oh, I'm not hungry, Tara. This bit of extra light. You feeling all right? Yeah, never better. I noticed you're off your food, and you didn't have a beer after work. Oh, gotta watch my weight. Beer's fattening. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get a tummy. I, I, I was thinking I might turn in now. Becky, if you're pregnant. Thanks for the lamp. At least test yourself. Then you know. I'm assuming Taffy's on board. I haven't seen him go in. Yep, he's around somewhere. We should be back by lunchtime. If you could do the oil change on the track, it would be good. Do you want to muster the rest of the ewes this afternoon? No, no, just keep up the water for the first lot, OK? OK. Hey, Tess, can you grab me something in town today? Sure. More chocolate. Oh. What makes you think you're pregnant? Usual signs. Can't seem to get away from Brian, can I? I'm sorry, Becky. It shouldn't be this way. <laughs> it's not the kid's fault. The father's a bastard. Then what about you? I've got work to do. Between you and I, OK? Yep. Or oh, would you just get lost? <laughs> it still can't be the cat, Mum. Nobody's that allergic. Ruth knew what that animal did to me. I think she encouraged it to drop fur all over the place. Uh, yeah, but Taffy's stuffed, OK? His molting days are over. And <laughs> he's on his way to Gungella now, OK? It's just the dust setting you off. Well, there's plenty of that around, with roost stuff everywhere. It's like she's moved back in. Oh, death. Gross. That is a whole lot of nonsense. Now, would you just eat your breakfast? Every day they get a load of gamelan drumsticks and genuine Turkish pewter pots. 
Mm. Must be hard letting go of all that stuff. Lots of memories. What do you think about abortion, Claire? Sorry? Yeah. It's complicated. Still breathing. First aid kit test in the ute. First aid, look at these people. He's alive. Scashed his leg. Yeah, there's a lot of blood. Okay, what do we do? Do you want okay? No, no, no. Pressure. Uh, hold a bandage. Push it down. Get help. Jodie, you've had an hour. Have you found the problem? Or is the answer in the cards? I don't know. It was pretty filthy. I couldn't work it out. You've been fixing pumps for years. And loving it. Look, the impeller's warm. You could try replacing it. Yeah, sure. Stop playing patience and get on with it. Okay, Jeffrey's okay. Just, just trying to stay calm. Um, we're gonna have to move him. I don't think we're supposed to. Claire, I'm standing in petrol here. There is a lot of petrol. Okay, we're just gonna help Jeffrey now, but we're still here. You're in first, hey? Yeah. Okay, mate. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Three. All right, go slow, go slow. Okay, down here. Yeah. On his back? Yeah, I suppose. Oh. oh, that's good. Good, mate. You okay? Yeah. Um, should we put something under his head? Uh, no, I don't think so. What about the driver? Oh, she's jammed under the steering wheel. We're going to need help. Okay, um, I'll call an ambulance. I'll get Meg and um, I'll be straight back. the Kalani turn off not far back. It's our best chance. I'll do it. It's a fair run test. Straight ahead. I'll cut across the paddock, yep. on its way. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. My car. I wrecked my car. Yeah, you have. But you're going to be fine. I need the car. Sydney. So stupid. I've got to 
see my sister. She think I'm not coming. She'll understand. Don't you worry about that. to Sydney. Just be a bit late. She's getting married. Have to go. Three days. Do you think I'll make it? You'll see her soon. And she'll be so happy. want to know that you're all right. You can say, I love her. She knows that. She does. We have bandages to soak up the blood, but that's about it. And the woman, she was crying, but well, there was no way we could get her out. We've got bolt cutters in the back. We might be lucky. I called an ambulance, they're on their way. Right. Those, um, Jaws of Life things, they have those, don't they? Yeah, there's the ambulance is two hours away. I've got Alex taking the chop. We moved him, we couldn't tell, but we had to move him. Tess! You're out on your feet, you stay here. I'm still out there, I have to go. Get some more water in there, otherwise she'll be in hospital. All right, yeah. Our neighbours are coming and they have a helicopter. Um, Jeffrey's doing okay. Hey, there'll be an ambulance too. You just hang in there. Yes. Something. Sorry. No, no, you stay with me. No, please, God. Come on. Come on. Bolted. We did the right thing, I'm sure we did. It's not fair. Uh, yeah, maybe a uh, fractured arm. No, I don't know. I'll be the You guys okay? We're fine. I promised her I'd stay with her. Yep. Alex, we need to immobilize his neck just to be safe. Use a towel right around his neck. Good stuff. I don't remember. Yeah, he's, he's conscious my... now. It's all right, mate. Just relax. Okay, relax. We want him in, Alex. Get him in now. My wife. My wife. My wife. It's all right, mate. She's, uh, she's stuck in the vehicle, but we're working on it. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. It's okay, mate. In the daylight, it 
Meg's veggie patch or something. You stuck with it? And it's your mum. <laughs> Great, just what I need. Well, that's the thing. You're always hungry, always yelling for something. It's a full-time job. Jody turned out okay. Jody won't mix sheep dip because it stains her fingernails. Yeah, she's great. I mean. It must have been hard on your own. Yes. I had help. You would too. Yeah, but it'd be me up all night with a kid hanging off my tit. It'd be me trying to work and raise a baby at the same time. Yeah, but you wouldn't be the first to have to do that. Take a look around, Meg. Crap parents have crap kids. Nice positive start. Put that motto in your baby book. Would you go away? I finished fixing the pumps. Do we need to make some sandwiches now? Yep, might as well. Okay, can you pick a card, any card? This is absolutely the last time, I promise. Okay, is it a skeleton guy in a cloak holding a scythe thing? No. The hanged man. Charming. Might need to work on that trick. <sighs> Won't be able to set foot in here soon. Just the way Ruth would have wanted it. You hated Ruth's guts, didn't you? Well, hate is a very strong word. But there was a personality clash. Hey, it's OK. If you didn't get on, it happens. Ruth didn't even try. She disliked the bush. Never understood it. Never fitted in. Well, at least Tess is trying. Oh, gosh, yes. This is light years ahead of her mother. The little bitch. <laughs> Tess or Ruth? Right now, I can't tell the difference. She promised me. tree. It's pretty bad. We skidded. Hey, Beck, those new tyres saved us. Are you both okay? Yeah. Claire was amazing. Stayed with them the whole time. But the woman died. I knew something was going to happen, Tess. I think I saw it. Come on. I'll put the kettle on. Hey, Tess. You should get those feet and some ice water. Helps with the swelling. Um, have something to eat. On a lavender bath, that's always good for stress. You know, I think I saw it, Tess. In the tarot. Don't start that again. Well, I turned over the death card like twice. It must have been a warning. Actually, I used to play with those cards quite a lot. I'd, um, I'd build houses with them when it was raining. <sighs> well, I'm not going to look at them again. If I turn up the death card again, I'm just going to freak. Maybe I'll check the web later, Jode. It's probably a first aid course we could do online. Well, 
we're done, you can put your feet up for a while. Not me. Still got used to muster. Well, I can need a hand with that. Uh, Tess will do it with me. Meg can go get the vaccine. She can use Jack's Merc. Becky will fix the ute. I think we're set. OK. I think you're set. Here, I'm kicking you out. You want some lunch? No, no. Better get back to Dad. Ambos will be there any minute. Right, thanks. Look, you probably saved that guy's life. And the woman was... I know. Nothing we could do. Tell me. Of course. This afternoon. Soon as. You can help Becky with the ute, Jody. I think that's a priority. Sure. Tess, when you're ready, we'll muster. Are you sure, Claire? It's been a tough day already. Oh, I'm fine. I thought I'd have a bath first. Oh, just make it a shower. See you out there. Will she put some clothes on first? Can I get you anything in town? No. You can buy me a magazine. How's the ute? Pretty stuffed. I can put a weld on it. It'll hold until we get it to a mechanic. You OK? Oh, I lost it there for a minute, but uh, I am off to do some work. Never stops. Make sure they uh, stay out of the creek, OK? Yep. Well, that makes more sense. The death card doesn't mean death. Can you pass me the other edge? Oh, I'm sick of this animal. I'm going to put you in the laundry. You realise you get fed so you taste better? Do you understand that? Come on. Death card's about completing a chapter. Closing a door on something or accepting the inevitable. Huh. Maybe that's me stuck here. Young Jody, isn't it? Help you with something? They've yeah, got a bit of a problem with some tyres. Wheels, actually. Some brand new wheels off a brand new ute. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, look at these. 
brand new wheels on your ute. And they're going to know where these came from. That's bull. You didn't help her, did you? You didn't help her steal them. I mean, your mum would really love that, Jodie. What are you talking about? Look, I've come all the way out here. I'm not going back without them. You got a jack? Well, you can't just take out tyres. Look, I don't know what this is about, but you have to wait for Claire. But she off somewhere? They all are. Just come back another time, all right? Oh, no, I think I'll wait. I'll look around. See if something else of mine turns up. What? No! I think you better leave. Well, what's the problem? Ryan? She said leave. I think you should listen. It's over a few tyres. Jody, he raped me. Anything I do to him won't be enough. What? Him? This guy? You're a bloody thief. Where's my stuff? You've been ripping me off blind. He got me behind a bar and pushed my head into a fridge. It's bullshit. Don't, Beck. Go inside, Jody. It's not worth it. You'll go to jail. Should have stayed away. I was doing all right. You don't know one end of a gun from another. <laughs> Jesus. I'm out of through. What? Becky, put the gun down now, please, OK? No way! Look, he'll go. He won't come back, will you? He'll come back with the police. Yeah, I bloody well should. Bring him and I'll tell him what you did to me that night. You wanted it. I said no. You've heard the word before, Brian. But you're always looking for it. Look at yourself. You're old and you're ugly. Why would I bother? You little bitch. You share it around with everybody else. What's wrong with me? Jody, you're my witness. Now get the cops out here now. What, with a pointed gun at me? You think that's going to stand up in court? Jesus, Becky. People know what you are. You're going to make a bigger fool of yourself over a harmless little grope behind the bar? No, that's... Oh! Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, you little bitch. Get away from me, both of you. you tried to kill me. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. Well, let's get Cook out of here. Sure. What do you tell the cops? About the rape? Your wife and children will find out about it? Who's going to believe you? We'll see. Oh. You still got off lighter than me. could have been digging his grave by now and dumping his body and, and telling crappy lies and we still would have gone to jail anyway. He won't tell. You could be in heaps of trouble. Ben Clay's going to sack you. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me, Ben? Because I couldn't, Joan. Claire will smell if it's been fired. So clean the rifle. Might <laughs> be right. Sorry. Um, a, a snake. I shot at a uh, brownie near the truck chain. Good. Oh. I just 
evaluated. Jodie, everyone's back. Work to do. Now, please. Can I just have a minute? Something wrong? No. I'm coming. Mum? Do you know who attacked Becky? Because I think it was Brian from the hotel. Is that what Becky said? I've known Brian for years. He's a good bloke. It couldn't have been Brian. So how are you feeling? Pretty good. Dealing with it, you know? Right, you have to let go, don't you? That's exactly right. You sound just like my mum. I was wondering then about Taffy. Come on, Tess, you have to let go. Yeah, but he belonged to Mum. Yeah, look, I can live with Ruth's damn Indian couch thing, but I can't live with a damn cat. Talking about the accident in town, by the way. Same bit of road Ferguson's rolled on last year. Oh, and that bloke you helped? Jeffrey. Mm. He's doing okay in the hospital. He's got a broken arm, punctured lung, spleen damage. Thanks, Meg. You okay, Claire? Uh, we could knock this over in the morning, couldn't we? I'll help too. No, we're set now. You've been pushing yourself too hard, you should stop. It's how you get the work done. Cassie, that was her name. The woman that died, Cassie Trinder. Damn it. Yeah, let me see, is it deep? I didn't ask her name. I didn't think to ask. Stay the longer you live. Do you understand that? Come on. Becky! I got your present in town. I was as bold as you like. I just. We'll get the rumours started. I hope there aren't enough already, Meg. You have to know. I do know, thanks. Better late than never. <sighs> I'll thank God for that. Come on. Awful. In front of everyone like that. Oh, I think I've lost it completely. Right, bosses don't cry, is that it? I should be able to handle this stuff. So handle it in a healthy way, don't bottle things up. Works for me. Mostly. <laughs> Ruth loved you, Taffy, and that made you a very lucky cat. I dusted the sideboard with your face that time after you were stuffed. <laughs> bye, Taffy. Bye, bye Taffy. Taffy. Yeah, bye, Taffy. Remember, Meg? 
Nine lives, still eight to go. Way too weird. 